How can I use modules that are connected to a coupler in my eCockpit application using the Modbus configurator? Here we've got a controller, PFC100, that is connected to an Ethernet coupler 750-362. On this coupler we've got an analog input module with a thermal element and a digital output module. Now to use these in our eCockpit application, we of course first have to add them to our network view, so we just scan the network. I've already configured the IP addresses of the two devices, so the coupler has the 1.62 and the controller has the 1.17. Once they are added to the network, we want to also add them with the modules, so we go to apply all and then all inclusive the modules. It will now scan the modules by connecting to the controller and the coupler and add the modules to the devices so we don't have to do it manually. We can see it here in the device structure that we've got two modules on the controller and two modules on the coupler. To make it a little bit easier to understand, I want to name a few things. So first, we name the coupler Slave362 because this is going to be our Modbus Slave and then we've got the Master PFC. And then also in the slave, I want to name the variable for the first input or the first channel of our analog input module. So we go here to the first channel and then we type in itemp and confirm it with press and enter. We can leave the output module as it is because it's already named in a way where we can identify the different channels. And for the master, I want to use the first digital input here. So I click on the first module there and then I type in X in one. So we can use it in our application to control the output of the slave. Now to add the configuration, we go back to the network view and then we draw a connection from the master to the slave. This will now create the Modbus configurator for this connection and we can see the direction here by this arrow from the master to the slave and we can click on configurator. Here we can see in the available data points, in the local, local bus data points, our two modules and inside we'll find our temperature. We can just right click this and then say map and it will map it in the configurator or we can also drag and drop our data points that we want to add. You could also select more than just one by selecting one and then press shift and select the last one. But here in this example, I just want to place this first output to our configuration. Now we can already go to the program structure and eCockpit will now generate a global variable list with the name Modbus. In this global variable list, all the configuration is configured. So we can go into our PSC PRG and then just type in Modbus, then a dot, and it will give us now all the available slaves that we have for this um, configuration. So here we just have the one. And then inside here, we can find again with a dot our temperature. And we can also do the same and uh, use our slave and the digital output and map this to our XN1, so the input of our controller. Now if we connect, we can already test our configuration. So now we can see that we've got a temperature of 23.4 degrees here. And if I touch this thermal element, we can see that uh, this will rise up. And we can already see, since the digital input is already active, that our digital output is active. And if I now use this button here, we can see that it also triggers the digital output of our Modbus coupler. 